Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if I haven't seen you on my channel here before. My name is Ruby. So we are almost at the end of November, which means Christmas is literally just around the corner. So it's time to start thinking and creating some lists of gifts to get the people in your life. I feel like it's especially difficult to think of gifts to get for your grandparents. I personally struggle every single year to think of things to get them. And as Christmas starts approaching, I start panicking, thinking, oh, what am I gonna get for my grandparents for Christmas? So I've decided to figure that out for you. And I've come up with a list of over 50 gifts that you can get for your grandparents for Christmas this year I've tried to come up with some gifts that are really loving really thoughtful Really precious that they can treasure there are a few practical things on this list But most of them are just things that they can treasure things that they'll really like and hopefully at least one thing from this list Will give you some ideas for Christmas now This did take me a really long time to make so if you wouldn't mind giving me a subscribe I would really really appreciate it because I have a goal of reaching a thousand subscribers by the end of this this year. So get nice and comfortable, grab your pen and paper and let's get into 50 plus gifts for grandparents. A letters to my grandchild book. This is such a cute idea. You get this for your grandma or your granddad and they can fill it out. Basically letters to their grandchild so that they can read them when they're older or in the future and just have them as like little treasured memories. A birthday reminder. They have loads of different types of these. You can get ones that are like wooden and they stick on your wall and they have everyone's birthdays on there. Or even like a birthday reminder book or they can just write them all down. You can get them a photo book for Christmas that's just filled with loads of nice pictures of your family. I know they probably have a load of photos already, but if they don't, or if you've just had a new baby or something that they really love, you could just fill it with loads of nice pictures that they can have a look at. I'm sorry that these are in no particular order, by the way, but if they have a garden that they love and they cherish, you could always get them a nice bird bath or a bird feeder. You can buy something called an original newspaper where you choose a date or a year and it prints off a newspaper from that time so if there's a specific date that means a lot to them it could be their birthday it could be their wedding anniversary then you could get them a newspaper from that time and they can just treasure that and remember that day or that memory something to get if you're really struggling you don't really know what to get them is a gift hamper we send my nan one of these pretty much every year but you can get loads of different ones that have different biscuits in different chocolates different teas there are loads of different ones that you can find you get them something for their hobby for example, my granddad's hobby is golf. He loves golf, so I would get him some new golf clubs, some new golf balls, just something to go with their hobby. And something similar would be a new hobby for them to try. For example, if your nan used to love painting years and years ago and she was really good at it, you could get her some paint sets with a little sketchbook, then like a jigsaw puzzle or like a puzzle book that they can try, just like a hobby, like a new hobby that they can discover. If your grandparents have absolutely everything and you really do not know what to get them, you could always get them tickets to a day out it could be a meal this would be extra special if you went with them as well if you got tickets for you and your granddad to go and see a show or go out for a nice meal I think that would be really special another thing that's pretty similar to this is an IOU day out this is what me and my sister did for my grandparents last year but we wrote in a card basically that we were going to take them out for the day to do whatever they wanted to on whatever day that they chose so you don't have a time limit to when you're supposed to like cash that in they can cash it in whenever they want to and they can do whatever they want on that day. Now I think that this is a really special gift but something that I'm doing for my grandma this year is I'm going to find some sort of monthly set to do with her. For example a monthly subscription to a craft service so every single month I go over and I spend some time with her and we do some crafts together. It could even be like crochet or knitting, it could be sewing if you're really into sewing or you have a sewing machine. Another day out idea would be a trip to the theatre or a pantomime. I feel like not a lot of people go to the theatre or to the pantomime anymore, like not very often at least. So I felt like that would be an extra special thing to do together. The last sort of day out thing that I have on my list is a gift card to do something. So it could be a cinema gift card. I feel like that's a really good option where you can go and watch a film that they really want to watch in the cinema and have that experience together. A personalised blanket. You can find some really pretty ones online where you can just put loads of pictures of you and your family on there. I feel like that would be really lovely. And a similar thing to that would be a personalised like a customised jigsaw of like a picture of you and your entire family and then you can sit with them and you can do the jigsaw together. A custom calendar, so a calendar with a different family member on every month or just pictures, just really nice pictures of you and your family. These look so nice, but a foot massager, one of the ones where you put your feet into and it just gives your feet a nice massage. And then something similar to that would be those foot baths. You know, the ones that warm up nicely and you can put your feet in and they just make your feet feel nice and warm and just give them a nice wash. I feel like I sort of am doing these in order, but it's very disordered at the same time, so I'm really sorry. Some microwavable boots. I 
I've seen some really fluffy boots that you can put in the microwave and they get all warm and cozy and you can put them on your feet. These sound so lovely. Or just a nice new pair of regular slippers. I feel like grandparents always appreciate slippers. A towel turban. I've mentioned these so many times on my channel, but they're so good for your hair. They prevent breakage and keep your hair nice and healthy. A new pair of pyjamas. I feel like you can't really go wrong with these. m and do some really, really nice sets of pyjamas. And then along the same lines as that would be a nice dressing gown. Again, I really like the ones from m &S. One of those chunky knitted blankets. These look so, so nice. And I feel like they would be really nice to just put around you if you're feeling a bit cold as well. A self-care gift box. It's a gift box that has a load of nice skincare products or just things that they can try in there. You can find some really nice ones from Etsy that have like fluffy socks in there and little chocolates and little candles. A mug gift set. So like a nice mug with some maybe hot chocolates in or some teas in or something. I feel like this one would be really special but if your nan or your granddad have some really old records that they used to play when they were younger and they don't have a record player you could always get them a new record player that they can play their records on or if they don't have records but you know their kind of music style you could always get them some records to go with it a radio my nan is obsessed with her radio she has it on all the time and this is especially nice if they don't have a phone that they listen to music on they don't have like a smartphone that they listen to music on you could always get them a radio so they can listen to music one of those cheese board hampers i've seen these in places like garden centers but they have those oat cakes in there and those like small chutney pots and stuff i'm gonna be getting one of these for my granddad because i know he'll really like that a nice new warm winter coat because winter is literally around the corner and it's so cold so you could always get them a nice coat some electronic hand warm I got some of these last year for Christmas and they're so good You just like heat them up and you can keep them in your pockets to keep your hands nice and warm when you're out and about Those neck massager things I've seen these all over the internet But the ones that you just like put behind your neck and it just gives you a nice massage I feel like they would love something like that Similar to the cheese board hamper would just be a cheese board like a really nice cheese board You could even get like a personalized cheese board an electronic heating pad I recently got one of these and I'm absolutely obsessed with it It's just basically just like a pad that you put behind your back if you're getting a bit of a bad back and it's just like a constant hot water bottle it's really good especially i feel like in the winter it's going to be amazing something else that i feel like would be really special is a family recipe book so you could get a book that has like your family name and then recipes on there they can fill it with all the recipes like their grandma's apple pie recipe or something like that and then you can pass it down through generations and everyone can fill out with their family recipes i feel like that would be so special an afternoon tea for two gift sets those ones that have the teapots in them and the little cups and they have like little scones and jams in them. A socks gift set. I know everyone has socks, but you could always get your granddad some Christmassy socks on, be some funny socks. And then you could get your grandma a nice pair of fluffy socks. This one is a little bit more of a practical present than a thoughtful present, but one of those walking stick chairs. If you know your grandparents are really struggling to walk and get around, you could always get them one of those so they can have a little sit whilst they're walking around, but they can still get outside. I know this is similar to the afternoon tea for two gift set, but just a tea gift set that has loads of different types of like tea bags and different flavors and stuff in there you could always get them one of those kindles i feel like this would be an ideal thing for a grandparent to take with them on holiday so they can read books while they're on holiday and something along similar lines is one of those magnifier things those magnifying screens you can get them that light up as well but they're basically like a square screen shaped magnifying glass that you can put over a book or you can put over your phone just so that they can read it a little bit easier or if you don't think that they would want a kindle you could always get them some nice new books you could get them a new planner a new 2023 planner or a new journal a nail care set my nan takes care of her nails more than anyone else i know so you get them the set that had the little scissors and the nail files and stuff in them and something similar to that would be a hand cream set one that has loads of different scents in you can even get some christmasy ones a personalized family Family portrait we got one of these for my grandparents a few years ago but it just has a picture of all of us in it and it says a cute little message at the bottom again if you know that they really love and take care of their garden you could get them a garden gift set like different sets of tools or some gardening gloves or some flowers that they can plant or something a family tree portrait i feel like this would be such a cute thing to get just basically a portrait of your entire family tree with all of your family members on it this is another practical one but one of those electronic jar openers if you know that they 
don't really struggle to open jars on their own. You could always get them one of those just to help them out a bit. You can even get rubber ones as well that work just the same, I think. A monthly subscription set. So a monthly subscription to a tea company where they get sent a different type of tea every month or a coffee one or whatever that they like. You can get them something that they can receive every single month. They have some really nice Christmassy bouquets in places like Tesco's, like supermarkets. They just have really Christmassy things in with the flowers. So you could give your nan some of those on Christmas day. All right, so that was everything that I had on my gift guide for grandparents. I really hope I've helped you come up with some ideas because I know how hard it is to think of gifts to get for your grandparents. I have four gift guides on my channel up already. I have my gift guides for him and for her as well as my stocking fillers for him and for her. So if you do want to see those, those will be in the description box down below. And I have one more gift guide coming out, which is my affordable gift guide. So if you do want to see that, then please subscribe. I hope you have the most amazing week and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.